The girl who faked her entire life has returned once again. And at this point, Lily Jean has become the definition of insanity, trying to take down every creator who attempts to hold her accountable. And it's safe to say, she's crossed the line. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. I'm Curtis, and that's Jerry. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of today's video, I wanna give you a backstory in case you've never heard of this woman before. On the internet, she's notoriously known as the girl who faked her entire life online. She claims to be mega famous with her millions of Instagram followers, and let me tell you this, it is the biggest army of bots you've ever seen in your life. Four years ago, I made a video on her. She was on 1.1 million followers. Last year, I made a video on her. She was on 1 million followers. Checking again, she's on 1.1 million. So she's added an extra 100,000 to her follower list. But don't undermine her, ladies and gentlemen. She is super mega famous. She went to the Met Gala. And as we know, ladies and gentlemen, only famous people go to the Met Gala. Oh, wait, hang on a second. That's not Lily Jean at the Met Gala. That's... That's Katy Perry! Oh, she photoshopped herself to be in the Met Gala to prove to everybody that she is super mega famous. She also claimed to be on the cover of Vogue, which, of course, once again, pure Photoshop. And at that point, she must be thinking to herself, how do I prove to everybody that people care about me in this world? I know, let me post a picture that one of the paps took of me. So yeah, this is one of the pictures that apparently one of the paparazzi took of her. Um, later to find out that it was her mother. Her mother took that picture. That's just, that, that's sad, Lily. That's really, really sad. Who goes through this much effort to try and prove that they are famous? I mean, Jerry don't give a shit about being famous, do you, Jer? And after all this drama kicked off, she tried copywriting me multiple, multiple times. Following that, some drama was kicking off between her and another YouTuber, of course. I mean, are we surprised? No. Me and Lily Jean ended up exchanging some DMs where she told me her side of the story. And um, yeah, I made a video about that. And basically, me myself held her accountable. And she didn't like that one bit. <laughs> she actually ended up releasing a video herself on me titled Curtis Price Lied. <laughs> and believe me, that day was the best day of my life, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, a celebrity paid attention to me. That's never happened before. That's like, that was on my bucket list. Now I can finally say when I go to the grave, Lily Jean made a video on me. But this supposed topic of Curtis Price Lied, all she did was show the DMs that I sent her holding her accountable. There was nothing there. There was nothing to go off. There was nothing incriminating, nothing. So it was pointless. And I made a video on it and I laughed about it, so. But not just that, Lily Jean's mother came after me and this was fantastic. This is what she attached to the link to the video exposing me. And now, this is our side of Mr. Price's conversation. Please note that he let us all know that someone we all know well on YouTube was the one who knowingly called in a fake sexual assault tip in 2020. Now, as I mentioned, I've covered this before in a previous video, and I don't have a f***ing clear what she's talking about. Like, prior to this, I was even actually being nice to her. This is what I said to her in DMs. Don't worry, it's the internet. That's what happens. I can understand sh happens. I've been called names in the past, but what can I do? I'll include this in the video. See, I was being very, you know, middle grounded, including her side, including Tatiana's side, who was the other creator that she was having drama with. And she just did a 180 on me. It's like she tried to trap me or something. <laughs> and after all this happened, this is when it really took effect. She tried to cancel me so many times by trying to copyright me, remove my videos, strike me down, and it just didn't work. And she failed miserably every time. Now, don't get me wrong. She has successfully striked down many creators on the platform, including someone who we're going to speak about today, a lovely French woman who makes French content. We are going worldwide, baby. It's really, really sad how Lily Jean is able to get away with this every single time. But here's the thing, Lily Jean and mother listening to this right now, you have to understand, I mean, no disrespect to any other creators who sadly had their videos removed, but I have a lot of experience with YouTube. You will never catch me, okay? You can't. I'm unbeatable, all right? I know, YouTube, the ins and outs of everything. You cannot catch me. <laughs> you lose, General Kenobi. <laughs> I am the man who had every right to become a villain. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, I know that Lily Jean and her mother absolutely despise it when I make videos on them. But here's, like, the cool thing about it. Like, if they try to copyright this video, I'm just gonna make another video. So, Lily Jean and Mother, if you do try it, I'm just gonna make another video. So I don't see the point. And if you keep trying to copyright claim other creators, I'm gonna make another video. It's about time now you just lay in the bed 
that you made. Lay in the made bed you made. Lay in the lay bed. You've made your bed, it's about time you lie in it. That That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> and about a year ago, she tried to strike down another creator, which I spoke about on my channel, who came to me once again and DM me and spoke about it. And I tried to do her justice and I came on my YouTube channel and spoke about it. The same thing's happened again, except this time the strike has actually gone through and she's actually got a strike on her channel. So as we can see, there is a long history of Lily Jean and her mother trying to take down these videos. Which, by the way, that is the definition of insanity. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. But what they didn't realise, my unhinged family, is when she tried to copyright me previously, I was able to see everything that Lily Jean's mother had written about me. <laughs> This is a copyright protected content. We are filled with the Library of Congress. That makes YouTube ignoring this even worse. We have a number we gave you for the photo stolen, as well as where it exists on our website. We expect you to adhere to what DMCA copyright law says. Additionally, in order to determine that something is stolen, as we are saying, you need to click the link. To reiterate, the thumbnail of the video portrays a full frontal view of Lily Jean's face as it comes from our website. You can photo stolen. <laughs> Yeah. You can photo stolen this called Lily Jean 2019 headshots and can be viewed on our website. This is stolen, copyright and pirated intellectual property will not be tolerated. <laughs> she sounds like a villain, doesn't she? YouTube has allowed Lily Jean to be constantly targeted with slander, defamation, anti-Semitic hate and death threats 24 seven and seven days a week. How's that working? 24 seven, seven days a week. 24 hours, seven days a week, seven days a week. And once again, she reiterates one more time, take this video down. What are you gonna do? You're gonna come over here to the UK and spank me? I don't think so. But anyway, the YouTuber we're talking about today who has unfortunately undergone Lily Jean and Mother's Wrath is actually a YouTuber called Cleo. Cleo? She's French. Bonjour, monsieur. She sent me an email this morning and she was very respectful, very kind individual. I don't know her personally, obviously, but from this email, what I can gather, she's very kind. So check this out. Good morning, Curtis. I don't know if my mail will reach you or not, but I'll give it a try. In advance, sorry for my bad English because it's not my first language. I am a Belgian YouTuber in the same field as you and a week ago, one of my videos has been striked down by Lily Jean and her mother. They tried to take down all my social accounts because I tried to show her actions to the French audience. During my research, I found your videos about her and the things that she tried to do. And I would like to know if you succeeded to fight them or if it's a waste of time to try and fight the copyright cl claim. Thank you in advance and it's okay if you don't have the time for that, but I have to try. And a lot of success for your channel. I like your videos. Regards, Cleo. Cleo. I'm so sorry if I got your name wrong. I'm so sorry. It's so sad, ladies and gentlemen, that I wake up in the morning and I see another creator once again being affected by Lily Jean and her mother. Like, it's just miserable, isn't it? What a miserable life to live. That you two are just sat there every day looking through YouTube at people that make videos on you, trying to hold you accountable. And you're just there, just getting your claws in everybody. Off, Leo, man. To which I responded, hi Cleo, I'm sorry that Lily Jean and her mother is doing this to you, that sucks so much. I've always been able to avoid getting copyright claims slash copyright strike. They attempted to strike me, but every time the request was denied by YouTube. And it was denied for good reason. Because there is nothing in my videos that you can do. I do not have anything that you can copyright. Do you not understand that? How many times have I got to explain this to you? My videos don't have copyright content. Oh, but there's a, there's a, there's a headshot of Lily Jean in the thumbnail. Bruv, I, I, I have changed the thumbnail. Your face is there with other things. I've color corrected you. I've changed your eyes. I've changed your eyebrows. Y you can't do anything. <laughs> I asked her to send me all the screenshots, which she did send them, which we're gonna look at in a second. She said, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your answer. Of course, I enclose everything I have in the copy. It's in French, of course, but they are striking me for the use of a video, Project Bullyish, video by Lily Jean Truman. They say I'm using it in the entire video when it's only a small part of it. Oh, lying again. Well, that's no surprise there, is it? And thanks to a website, I was able to translate from French to English so we can take a look at them together. Thank God for that, isn't it? I mean, Anyone else speak French? Let me know in the comments. The only thing I do know is uh, bonjour monsieur and um, comment tout appel and uh, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, sept, six, huit, neuf, dix. That's pretty good, isn't it? So they unfortunately strike down Cleo's video and she tried to give a defense, I guess. Yeah, it does seem like a defense because YouTube said, thank you for your defense. It is not clear to us whether you have a valid reason for presenting a defense. What do you mean YouTube doesn't have a valid reason for presenting a defense? Lily Jean and her mother is abusing the copyright system. Of course, there's a valid reason for a defense. The way it works, ladies and gentlemen, is if Cleo posted a video 
purely of Lily Jean. Just, just the whole thing, just Lily Jean talking. That's copyright, of course, because you're not modifying the content in any way. But Cleo did that. She put a lot of hard work into her video. A lot of hard work. She works really hard. And you, Lily Jean, has come on the platform and decided to undo all of her hard work because you believe it's copyright. Okay. I don't know if you know what the copyright law is then. And you can see one warning for copyright infringement. The copyright holder has asked us to remove your video because he considers that it contains content that infringes on his rights. Your video has been removed from YouTube. Your channel has received a warning. It expires in 82 days, by the way. That's quite damaging for a channel. If you have three of those, your channel's gone poof. So, yeah, she's out of control, ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below what you think so far of Lily Jean. You know, if you haven't heard about her before, check out my other videos, but... I mean, she's crazy, right? She is absolutely insane. I'm sure you can see by the thumbnail. She's just totally lost her mind. But believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, not only is she coming after the creators on the platform, she also came after Cleo on Twitter. Why? What is wrong with you people? Are you guys okay? Like, if you need to talk, my Instagram door is always open. But yeah, she went after her on Twitter. But Cleo responded to me again after she gave me permission to, you know, show our emails. She said, you made me think. They also DMCA my Twitter posts. I didn't even know it was possible. Here are the mail I got from Twitter, if that can be useful somehow. Oh yeah, absolutely it's useful. Anything is useful like this. Because it just shows how unhinged Laura and her mother is. Wait, what? <laughs> Shows how unhinged Lily Jean and her mother is. I mean, they're kind of the same people at this point. They're both as bad as each other. Bonjour, le content du civiant at été retire de vorte compete en response à la visite de Vaman Oh, I can't read this. Oh, brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. In this email, we can actually see what Laura said, and it's in English. So let's read what Laura's reason is for, you know, DMCA in her Twitter. So quickly, the reason for the DMCA was because Cleo posted, like, I'm pretty sure a short part of her video on Twitter, including her thumbnail as well. And that's what, you know, that's why they DMCA'd her. Total f***ing idiots, mate, honestly. Anyway, let's read what Laura's reasoning is. Where is the infringement happening? Twitter. Description of original request. Video stolen from our website. This is a DMCA copyright violation. It is the first video on our website page. Take this down. What, you mean this video? <laughs> Description of infringement. Stolen content from our website. Please take this down as per DMCA copyright law of 1986. Good faith belief. I have good faith belief the use of the material in the manner complained of is not authorised by the copyright owner, its agent or the law. The information in this notification is accurate and I state under penalty of prejudice that I am authorised to act on behalf of the copyright owner. Signature, Laura Truman. Good job, Laura. You win. That time, you won the battle, but you will lose the war, my friend. So it's really sad, ladies and gentlemen, that Lily Jean and my mother is able to get away with this every single time. I mean, we have to stand up, guys. We have to form together against these people. I mean, look, all I can say is for them to just stop copywriting people. People are allowed to post on the platform. If you want to keep doing that, I mean, by all means do it, but... And if any other creators come to me for a similar situation, I am literally just going to come back on YouTube and make another video because I just, I, I, I'm going to stand up for my creators. I'm going to stand, we're a team. We're all a team, okay? You don't attack my family, okay? Thank you very much, all right? Yeah. Um, I wish I could, like, reinstate your video. I wish I was, like, a YouTube god, but I'm not, unfortunately. I'm just a Curtis Price man. I'm, I'm, I'm just a Curtis Price. So, I, I don't have power. <laughs> so yeah, guys, go and show Cleo some support. She's a French YouTuber. If you speak French, go and check her content out. She makes similar videos to me. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, join the channel memberships and you'll be able to use custom emojis of my face, of Jerry, of the Unhinged brand. Also, you'll be able to, you know, get new tiers of Jerry. And check out my other videos if you're interested. There's some cool ones. This one's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. It's filthy. 